houses. Yo yo, what's up guys, I'm Kaib and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving a reaction to biggest Fodit 8 for update and I'm gonna let Liz Kaz and Chance to explain all the update and there's gonna be my small reactions in this video and let's get in. You can also find body orbs through the supply chests, airdrops and sponsor boxes. The unique part is that body orbs found in supplies come with items inside. What's inside, we'll reveal that a bit later. Your backpack can hold up to six captured bodies and items, which you can select using the inventory wheel. Once in the area, just throw the body orb at your target, and the capture begins. You can even capture multiple targets at the same time, non-stop. Each possessing incredible abilities. They can even control the environment and weather, creating major impacts on battles. Let's dive into what buddies are, the astonishing powers they hold, and how to make them team up with your hero. It into two types, common and arcan. Arcan buddies are incredibly rare, but their skills are extraordinarily powerful, designed to be stronger than any other elements in the game. That's right. Let's take a look at one of the Arkham Buddies, Time Dominator. When Time Dominator is released, the safe zone will start moving towards its location. You heard that right. It can change the direction of the safe zone. <gasps> what? Once activated, Time Dominator can create a moving safe zone, customizing the zone's next location, lasting for a set period of time. This is practically unheard of in Battle Royale. Imagine reaching the final round only to find yourself stuck at the edge, getting sniped by the enemies. You are cooked. Mm -hmm. But you've captured Time Dominator. Release Time Dominator and you'll transform the safe zone. Combined with the Sheriff's Patrol from Nightwatch and the Little Dragon from Momoi, you'll set a perfect trap and be the final winner. Mm -hmm. Storm Empress unleashes a massive tornado, sweeping up nearby enemies, vehicles, and all other moving objects, dealing moderate damage. Players caught in the air are flung even further, drastically shifting the dynamics of the match, reshuffling the advantages on both sides. Zephy. Zephy creates a continuous wind field at the targeted direction. Moving against the wind slows you down which adds complexity to the battlefield and keeps enemies away. Buzzy. Buzzy transports down teammates or their loot boxes to right in front of you, creating a safe environment for you to abide. Squeaky. Squeaky acts like a cannon, launching you far away to quickly escape danger or reach your target location. Paddle Paper. Paddle Paper rapidly scans the map, revealing the surrounding environment and enemies' positions. Snatch Paw. Snatch Paw steals a random items from the nearest enemy, including anything but their weapons and shields. Then brings it back to you while you're leaving a trail in the air. So be careful not to expose your position. Morph Drake. Morph Drake helps you blend in by disguising you as an object. You move slowly and stay undetected by scans. But if you are attacked, the disguise will drop. But in reality, buddies serve as an efficient option for specific situations rather than being the only situation. First, the number of buddies you can catch is limited. You can carry up to 7 buddies at a time, and since you need buddy orbs to catch them, the number of orbs you have will also limit how you allocate your resources. This means you will not only be capturing buddies, but also collecting various items for when you need them. So you have to assess the importance of buddies compared to other resources. Secondly, each time you release a buddy, there is a cooldown period. Buddies is certainly part of your flashy combo, but it's the hero skills and weapons that can really string together great facilities and vehicles. 
Let me introduce you to a brand new set of items, Tactical Facilities. These structures are scattered around the map. They each have their own health bar, so they can be destroyed. These special structures come in various forms, but they aren't immediately useful. They shine when you find yourself in a battle, providing you tactical advantages. So now, let's store them in the buddy or for now. When the time comes, you can quickly deploy the right facility to build a defensive or offensive fort. See, with the Buddy Orb, you can manage all sorts of resources on the fly. The possibilities in Farlight 84 have just expanded in a big way. Man, that's changed. The Farlight Committee has also built a bunch of new structures in some of the realms to closely study bodies. These new big structures and cool landmarks give each point of interest its own unique look and feel. They don't just help you spot your landing target faster when you launch, they also act like landmarks that guide you around the map. Take this example, a gigantic dark site at the peak of the residential area. Before the update, the buildings were tucked away among high mountains, making it hard to find or even know there was a point of interest on the other side. But now, with a huge dark site, you can spot it from far away. Even from behind the mountains, you'll see the Nova Bazaar is right there. Then, there's the terminal. By being unreachably high, it's set to become the new landmark of Transport Port. The area was previously low profile and near the edge of the map. Now, you can see it from far away, even at a Blade Rock Mine, and use it as a guiding post. And look at this, a floating boulder above the laboratory. At the right, glowing in mesmerizing colors, and the giant mushrooms, probably affected by Aether. I wonder if I could take a bite during the fight. You can! <laughs> Besides these giant landmarks, the smaller ones are super important too. The Terrans are looking more complex now, and your view might be limited. These smaller points of interest stand out and help you get your bearings quickly. We've also built a brand new feature called the Reckon Beacon. You can see its location and availability on your minimap. When you use it, it reveals the enemies within a certain range and then it goes into cooldown. Compared to other ways to scout, this Reckon Beacon has a wider range and marks enemies for a longer time. However, be aware that nearby enemies will get notified when it's activated. On top of that, we've revamped logistics facilities across the galaxy. There are these new outposts like Blade Rock Mine, Duck Hill Plateau, and Life Catcher Camp. Finally, for maps, let's talk about some tactical improvements inside enclosed buildings. Up until now, these buildings have been pretty plain with not much room for tactical gameplay. To tackle this, we've created a series of design details within these spaces. For example, in this previously empty room, we've added two sets of cover. It might seem simple, but when you're hiding in there during the final round, you'll see its true colors. With the door closed, the one who's entering needs to be extra cautious. Walking right into an ambush, taken out with a single shot, isn't the best time. Similar design details can be found in other spaces, and they'll make the game way more intense and exciting. 24-7 chat, 24-7 chat. Topic. Yes. Up next, we'll dive Finally, into bro. weapons and heroes in Final 84. I was waiting for this moment. First of all, weapons. We have so many new guns, right? As the Final Cup, there we go. The committee has given the entire arsenal a complete overhaul. Every weapon is crafted with latest tech, making them more precise and powerful. Your favorite skins are getting a fresh look too, perfectly fitting the new weapon models. Now, oh, they revamp all the skins. The new weapons now for the new look of the gun. Each has its own unique advantage in certain scenarios. Assault rifles. These are the all-rounders, perfect for mid-range combat. Great balance between stability and power. The backbone of any squad. Take the M4 for example. It's a crowd favorite because it's so stable, but its damage is on the lower side. On the flip that's side, cool, that's cool. you've got AK-77. That's balanced. It's got a higher recoil, yeah. but it deals massive damage. Top yeah. choice for sharpshooters. It's, it's my gun, chat. It's my gun. <laughs> rifle. 
its rate of fire increases with each shot, hitting maximum speed by the fifth bullet. So if you want to max out your DPS, make sure to give it time to ramp up. Plus, all assault rifles now have the option to switch between full auto and semi auto Bro, giving nice. you more tactical flexibility. I want to do one tap most we of the time and to see just the new tricks you'll pull keep shooting, you know. That's so good. Mm, now let's talk about shotguns. Shotguns Finally. are the kings of close range combat, perfect yeah, bro. for indoor and up close brawls. The newest shotguns each have their own standout features. The striker trial Look at the damage. Punch, capable of firing six rounds in rapid There's recoil. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. The catch. You've got to aim for the head, or the high spread might leave you open to a counter attack. The Eliminator is another new addition, a shotgun with a higher DPS and quicker firing rate. Huh? We've also added an aim down sights feature to shot oh, like, significantly tighten yeah, We can shoot it like fast and just, yeah, nice, nice. Now let's get to the coolest looking of them all: the sniper rifles. Sniper rifles are the masters of long range combat, perfect for picking off enemies from high ground or concealed positions. They're good at suppressing enemy positions. Take the classic Bar 95. It's a bolt action sniper that demands damage? point accuracy but rewards you with massive damage that's good, that's good. enough to take out an enemy with one shot if their shield is down. Then you've got two DMR, MK24 and Thunder, both semi-auto snipers that don't need to reload after each shot. They're not particularly oh. flashy but they're reliable tools for any budding sniper. And don't forget the new heavy heater, Arbiter Sniper Rival. You can find this beast in airdrops and it's got death. Oh my god! Even fully armored enemies won't stand a chance. 468 them... damage? 468 damage? Also getting a realistic touch in this update. Oh my goodness! When aiming, holding your breath will help reduce recoil It went too fast for me to understand. Same, bro. Finally, it's going so fast. MGs and SMGs. We're gonna be like watching this again. We'll be rolling out more detailed guides on all weapons soon to help you get a deep understanding of each one. Yeah, that's so that be sure good. to stay tuned. Yeah. This update also brings new visual effects and sound designs for all weapons. In terms of visuals, we've added new muzzle flashes and bullet trajectory effects. There are also new animations for actions like picking up and switching weapons, reloading, ADS, and so on. With the new ADS system, you'll even see your hands. Weapons that used to look pretty basic in first person now have a sharper, more defined details. And when you're in scope view, you'll still see your current magazine capacity. The scopes also have a more realistic 3D look. From what we've shown so far, I'm sure you've noticed something, right? The animations for character movements, attacks, and idle states are all refreshed to match the updated weapons. Everything feels smoother, more realistic, and with a richer texture. That's right. Weapons are the heart and soul of any shooter game. So in the future, we'll keep updating the weapons and expanding the attachment system. Our goal is to make each category and even each individual weapon feel uniquely positioned through its attachments. This time, we're the bringing BU, Chad, the BU. To stylish new look oh my god. Bo. Is there going to be battle pass As skin? a damage hero, Bo is a dangerous expert in explosive yeah. and ruthless killer. Come closer, closer. Beautiful oblivion is beckoning. He wasn't always like that. Bo is to be just a junior researcher, but being framed in an instant made him lose his mind. Can't you hear oh it? Oh my god. That warm scarlet liquid sings to me. Animation. Like oh my god. Now, Ooh, bro, the animation. With a good look, his bloodlust kicks in, making him a fierce. Should I be beaming? Should I be beaming? Now, he's <laughs> upgraded his bombs. Let's dive into these changes to both skills. Tactical skill one now comes with two default chargers. After upgrading the skill twice, you unlock additional effect. Bro. The ball is caught in the explosion. He himself there's so much thing chat oh my god bro my brain is bro my brain doesn't work anymore bro like there is so much thing there's like pets all of them have the different abilities the map is so many changes out the map the quality of the map is so different like when you jump like the jump mechanics are different like every gun 
got changed iron sides bro there is so much thing oh my god of gains damage reduction but if the enemy gets hit they will suffer bonus damage tactical skill okay two that's cool that's cool ability after two upgrades Oh, the range has changed. Lands, it's too big range. That's cool. Stuns, that's cool. That's cool. Leaving behind some sub grenades that will detonate again at the short delay. Oh, more so good, bro. So good, bro. Yes. I'm gonna be the B main probably. Upon using any skill, He's so cool. But let's see the other heroes too. Can you believe someone this dangerous and crazy would actually join the Farlight Cup? And the organizers agreed. It's just scary. But then again, other light catchers in the game are no pushovers. Oh Exciting my god, chat like the, the update is so huge. I wasn't expecting this much too, bro. The heroes have also gotten updates to their abilities. It's already Nightwatch. 30 minutes, bro. Set no drone of his tactical skill now has a movement ability. When deploying okay. the drone, Nightwatch can grab the Oh my god. It's a new gun chat, by the way, not a Uzi. It's like I was telling about this. It's like different. I wonder who's more jacked. Oh, ready. After deploying, look at that muscle. Using the skill again will have the device return to Freddy's current location. With uh -huh. this, Freddy can set up a trap by teleporting to the enemy, then pull the device back to control them with precision. Uh -huh. Lucinda. Lucinda's tactical skill one now comes with two default charges. After upgrading it twice, you'll get an extra effect. When she leaps into the air, she can mark any enemies she spots. Oh, cool. That's Momo. cool. That's cool. Momo's tactical skill 1 now provides a free stun. Yeah, it's the new ability. I was Each talking about this chat. Its own durability and even friendly fire from teammates can damage the shield. Momo's tactical skill 2 allows her to slowly fly upward in her dinosaur when holding the jump button. After upgrading her out twice, the dinosaur will deal damage and slow down enemies within. Range. Oh my god! 